Unraveling the mystery of the present continuous passive. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on the passive voice. Today, we're going to dive deep into an interesting and important concept, the present continuous passive. This form is not only critical for achieving fluency in English, but also adds a lot more depth to your language skills. The present continuous passive is a tense that we use to talk about ongoing actions that are being done to the subject by someone or something else. Essentially, it's a combination of the present continuous tense and the passive voice. The structure of this tense is subject plus am, is, are plus being plus past participle of the verb. Let's look at some examples. The car is being washed. In this case, someone is washing the car, but we're more interested in the car, the subject, than the person doing the washing. The song is being played. Here, the song, the subject, is being played by someone, but we're more focused on the song itself. We use the present continuous passive when the focus is on the action that is happening right now and not on who or what is performing the action. This tense is often used when the doer is unknown, irrelevant, or obvious. Here are some examples. The new bridge is being built. We don't know or care who is building the bridge. We just want to say that the action is happening now. Dinner is being prepared. Again, it's not important who is preparing the dinner. The focus is on the fact that the preparation is happening at the moment. 1. Remember the structure. It's subject plus am, is, are plus being plus past participle. Keep practicing until this becomes second nature. 2. Identify the main action. In the sentence, the cake is being baked. Baking the cake is the main action happening right now. Identifying the main action will help you construct your sentences in the present continuous passive. 3. Use it appropriately. Don't overuse this form. Remember, it's used when the doer is unknown, irrelevant, or obvious. If the doer is important, consider using the active voice. And that's a wrap on the present continuous passive. We hope this video has been helpful and you're feeling more confident about using this tense. Remember, the key is to practice. So, start incorporating this form into your daily English conversations, and you'll master it in no time. See you in our next video where we'll continue our exploration of the passive voice.